Hello everyone. Today we'll be reviewing and um yeah I'm very excited about this. I've seen this in videos but I've actually never seen it in real life. And it looks extremely shiny and I'm so curious to see if um you know if it really lives up to to how it looks in, in the videos. The packaging is iconic. It's just a little square box with uh, just beautiful artwork. And then there's the Sagittarius uh, sign. So in this review, I'm going to be putting it together. Uh, or at least showing how to put together some of the pieces, but not the entire thing. Because that would just make the video extremely long. But... I'm just going to say that this is the first time that I ever built one of these. And uh, it was an awesome experience. Uh, you'll see the, you know, the growth of my skills as I start to unpack it and understand the instructions and stuff like that. For anyone that has never put one of these together, you get this little booklet that has um, just little drawings of what you need to do. But it's accompanied by... A bunch of Japanese words so um, you just have to follow the images and you'll be good it's really not that hard but um you will find that a lot of these pieces are co covered in oil or something like that because um it's metal so it, it gets really like moist or something and, and it gets really oily and then you start having problems and I had to put on gloves at one point because I, I didn't even know that that happened. So that is uh, something to keep in mind when building this. But yeah, it's extremely shiny. Like I'm telling you, as soon as I saw all of those pieces, um, I knew that it was going to be a lot of work, but it'd be definitely worth it because uh, everything seemed so high quality. You know, I, I've, I have some hot toys. I have some... Um, Prime One statues. I have some uh, SH figure arts. I have some Mescos. So I know about high quality collectibles and like what they look like and their standard. But this is a whole new level. Like it's ridiculous. I've never um, seen this much level of detail and I, think, I don't even know because I'm. Um, I feel like they're worth so much more and I, I can see why they're priced so high because um, they're just incredibly made. It's unbelievable the way that that they how they look when you put them all together and just simply getting it getting them there is an experience and you have to be patient because uh, most of those pieces like they can be very delicate. And you can definitely pose this figure however you want, but you got to be patient enough to, uh, uh, like, like actually achieve a good pose without like having pieces pieces fall off. So if you really like all the posing and stuff like that, like uh, at the end of the video, I'm gonna be posing it in a lot of different ways. Like I already did it, and uh, I even had it suspending off the ground on a stand, like flying off, shooting the arrow, and it looked insane like I have I have to leave it like that like it just looks crazy I think I will upgrade the stand that was just like a little experiment that I was trying to have because I really wanted to have it flying with the wings on and speaking of the wings so I heard a lot of people have problems uh, putting the wing on and I could see um, why that is like people say that the the little hole on the back of the armor is uh, won't key in properly and I could see how that could happen but what I did is I pushed the armor up in order to create that gap better and then I pushed the wing in and I made sure that the two pegs clicked in which they did and then uh, after that I would just pose it and just every time I picked up the figure I'll pick it up holding it uh, like hamburger style with my index finger and the rest of those fingers on on the wings and my thumb on his chest and that's how I would pick it up so that every time I'm moving it around the wings would never fall off and then it worked perfectly like as you could tell like at the end of the video I have him flying like right now he's 
just like that still flying and the wings are still on so I guess uh it, it worked out for me but yeah so um man uh, speaking of this show um I ended up getting this because I start, uh, started revisiting some of the movies that I found. And um, I remember watching this when I was little. And I didn't really understand the story completely. But now as an adult, um, I never expected it to have that many layers. And for it to be so interesting and captivating. And it always had some type of... Uh, uplifting message in a weird way and that's something that I noticed with a lot of um shows from back in the day they just seem to have that um like uh they, they kind of teach you life lessons as the story progresses which is something that I really appreciate you know because um it kind of teaches you values as well like it, it's I, I think that's how media should be properly you know is to uh, constantly promote messages about, you know, um, just being a strong, uh, a good person or fighting for uh, what's good. You know, just basic foundations of, of what it is to be a good, a good human being. But yeah, I mean, um, yeah, this armor is great. As you can tell, here, here's um, all the posing that I'm going to do. It's crazy. I definitely recommend it. I um I do not take back this purchase. This is a uh, very well done. Incredibly well done. But yeah, let me get, let me know what you guys think.